Hi, it's Katie, and today is July 4th, 2020. I just woke up, and today I'm going to be reading The Guest List by Lucy Foley. And I picked this up, um, one, uh, from the recommendation of Gabby from Gabby Reads on BookTube, who I love. And then the other reason I got this was because I love this cover so much, and it's so like it's this like that rubberized kind of like matte texture I love it I love that it just made me want to buy it okay you know what sometimes it's textural sometimes it's all about the cover okay that makes you buy something it's fine if it does so I actually don't know what this book is about which is hilarious because I'm sure that Gabby probably talked about it and said what it was about when she recommended it don't remember um, and the back doesn't really tell you anything. The back just says, an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid, all have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. Okay. You know, that's good enough for me. Sounds great. I love stuff where it's like on a train, on an island, like in a secluded mansion, something where they cannot leave. I love that. A, a very, and then there were none. I started reading this yesterday and I got like almost 100 pages in and so far technically nothing has happened technically but it's not a bad thing but really like all you know so far in the very beginning is that a caterer or a server at the wedding is like screaming and saying that she saw a body she saw blood uh, but nobody else saw anything. We have no idea what any of that means. Um, and I'm 100 pages in and we still don't have any idea what it means. But but it's written well and I'm still really liking it. And I feel like it is going to really lead somewhere. Okay, so so far um, Jules has found a note that says that she should not marry Will. That he's, I think it's like that he's not who he says he is or that she just shouldn't trust him. So clearly... I mean, that's a secret she's keeping from him, but also kind of lends to the belief that Will has a secret. And then also Jono has a secret. We don't know what it is, but he just says that something happened. I think it's probably either something that happened when they were in school together, because it does follow Will, Jono, and a couple guys that they went to school with. Um, so it's either something that happened then or something that happened at Will's stag party, um, which is like a bachelor party. Um, and then we have the plus one, which is Hannah. And uh, Hannah is Charlie's wife. And Charlie is Jules, the bride's best friend. Or maybe something else. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. Like, I could be convinced that they're just friends. But you wouldn't have to try even an iota to make me believe they're more than friends. Because... I don't know. Do friends act like that? Maybe. I am hopefully it's kind of not cute outside right now, <laughs> but I think I'm going to go to the pool and read this and then see if I can get like hopefully like 30 more pages in because I feel like when I go to the pool, I always somehow get sunscreen in my eye and I have to go home. So that didn't work out. It started raining when I was three sentences into the book. So scratch that, that's not happening. So I'm gonna go on a walk and read my book. And I live um, in a neighborhood where there's like a lot of neighborhoods around me so I just walk up and down those streets because the speed limit's like 20 miles an hour anyway and listen I'm not condoning it and am I, am I condoning walking and reading on the street no but do I do it every day yes <laughs>
it is really hot out there. Um, well, it's like steamy. It's that Georgia Southern dusk steam. And I'm sweating. Tried to wipe off my face a little bit, but it is sweaty, okay? And I feel like I literally just took a shower. I'm like, I feel like maybe I'll take a bath because then it's like steam will be an element that's supposed to be in that process, you know? Or sweat and then shower off. I don't know. But I did get another like 40 pages in, I think, because I think I started at like 150 and I got to 196. But I made some progress and nobody's dead yet. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Do you hear me? Nobody has died. <sighs> Should that be annoying me as much as it is? I don't know. It's like. I th one person has died, maybe, a long time ago. But nobody has, nobody's actually dead. And it's like people being like, oh, you know, because of my past. I'm like, I'm 200 pages in. Shit should be unfolding by now, I feel like. Today I'm gonna do it. Today I'm gonna go to the pool. Is it three o'clock? Yeah. Did I wait until now? Have I waited like five hours trying to talk myself into going? Yeah, but it's gonna happen. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, okay? So Will is Steven, like, what? Like, I don't know. It's like, I should have seen this coming because it's like, I knew that, it's like, I think like I knew, but it's just so ridiculous. Like, it's so, what? 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 Hold up. I swear to God, if this is also Alice's boyfriend, like Hannah's sister, the boyfriend that she was like obsessed with and then posted, posted like the videos, like the revenge porn online. If this is the same dude, Jono's best man speech at the wedding. Oh my god, that was savage. Like, it's like I'm pumping my fist in the air because he deserves it. Like, Jono deserves to have this moment. And then when they all get up and carry Will out, because I'm assuming they're going to do like a survival thing, but I'm like, what? <laughs> Shit is getting sinister, y'all. It is. Okay, we are getting into some freaking action. You guessed it. It started raining while I was at the pool. Uh, but my book only got a little bit wet. It's not a big deal. It's like, pff, barely. Uh, so, I just made some buffalo cauliflower. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about it, I've got to put ranch on this. <laughs> I really thought I was about to just eat this plain. Um, and shook up a little cocktail. Um... It's a green love lace. It's like vodka, mint, lemon, agave. There's supposed to be Saint Germain in it, but I have never once in my entire life remembered to buy it. And then hopefully, I'm gonna bust through the rest of this. I lost my place because I didn't put the bookmark in it when I was running from the rain. But I think I'm on 270 out of like 320 pages or something, so. I might be able to finish it today. Things are moving in this book. So I'm moving through it a lot faster, which is amazing. Okay, who's this body that they find? Like that the ushers find by the folly? I mean, okay, it says that the wind is like making the body's clothing fidget and snicker. So I'm assuming it can't be Jono because his clothes were too tight. 
Like his suit was really tight. So it can't be him. It could be Olivia. I doubt that it's Will also because he's in a fitted suit. And it definitely could be Jules. Like it for sure could be Jules. Because they were next to the Folly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Like, and it could be. Hmm. Okay, so it's Will. Don't know how his clothes are moving, but honestly, thank God. That guy sucked. But I swear. Oh my God. When the figure like comes out of the dark. Okay, so one, two. What I'm thinking is that it's the friend, like the loner, you know, the kid that Will basically killed or like let the tide kill him um the the they just describe as like the fat friend that tried to say something about it and never got anybody say you know never got any attention I'm wondering is that Freddy because he's the most he's the character that nobody's paying attention to no one is paying attention to nobody cares Aoife is the only one that anybody cares about and then this guy her husband Freddy Hmm. He's been real quiet. Kind of seems like he's trying to keep out of the spotlight so that none of the ushers be <coughs> spotting him, <coughs> clocking that guy. <coughs> we knew you. We knew you win, bruh. We saw you, little freshman. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That ended abruptly. Um, I really thought we were gonna get more like legally about what happens, about the things that Will had done or the things that happened to him. Like I'm wondering, I'm like, I guess, I guess it's kind of left up to interpretation, um, but I'm assuming Jono goes to jail and that everybody else just, probably comes out with their own story. I'm assuming they all come out with their own story. But I don't know. I still think I'd, pro I'd probably give this like a 3.5 out of 5, which is a little disappointing because I feel like a lot of people really liked it. But, uh, it's like I equally liked and didn't like how all the characters were interwoven together. Like they all meant something to each other in a way they didn't understand. I guess to me it just seemed inconceivable. Like that they would all end up in one place just seemed unfathomable like if will had planned it okay crazy mastermind what but he didn't plan it he had no idea he didn't even remember that like freddie uh he didn't remember freddie or Efa or olivia like he didn't remember any of these people and i'm like what what it wasn't bad it was not bad it was fine it's just wasn't great. Wasn't great. It's like a 3.5. It just seemed so unbelievable. It just, I don't know. But right now I would just say that it was a 3.5. It was good. It wasn't phenomenal. Um, I'm sure I would read something from her in the future, especially since I don't know if this is her first book, but I'm assuming if she writes more, then she'll, God, saying get, saying get better is so horrible, but you know what I mean. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that if anybody hadn't read this book, they didn't watch this and then spoil it for themselves. But this was my opinion, and um, I'm just happy that you watched it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And have a good day. Bye.